Hey guys, it's Courtney from the Kitchen Garden, and I feel like I'm about to do the shed version of cribs, because that's what it feels like. I'm gonna take you guys inside my shed. I should really call it my husband's shed. Uh, to share with you some organizational tips that we use to help keep our junk organized. And we are by no means uber organizers, but it helps keep our shed looking pretty clean most of the time. Um, and that there's places for things and it keeps the floor from being cluttered. So here are some really great shed organization tips. Let's go. Tip one guys, is definitely being able to keep your tools up off the floor. Um, we keep our rakes and our shovels, pitchfork, just in case, um, up off the ground using these clamps. And usually they come in a set of five and we screw them, or here, here you can see my husband just, used um, a piece of wood between the studs, screwed into it, and um, it holds a lot of stuff. And that keeps our dirty um, shovels from being on the ground so that we can put things like propane tanks on the ground. <laughs> so that's tip one. Tip two, having a pegboard is super versatile, especially for your smaller items that you're gonna keep in this shed. And you can have as many hooks inside the pegboard as, as you want. Um, you can get uh, the extender pieces right over here that can hold uh, longer items out so they're not flush up against the pegboard. And again, it's super easy to install. This was just literally screwed into the stuff. Tip three is to use hooks that are mounted in your shed. And these, again, are mounted either onto a stud or onto a board that is, that is screwed into the stud itself. And so you'll see the hook in the middle is holding our leaf blower and it's a gas powered leaf blower, so it's it's pretty heavy. And we also use hooks just like that in the garage to hold hoses and extension cords. And then you'll see the clamp style hooks are holding um, what is our weed eater and our edger. It seems like we do a lot of yard work. <laughs> so um, those are really great for holding things that may be top heavy, since those are also gas powered. Um, there's a really uneven weight distribution there, but those, clamps help hold that stuff in place and you'll see our seed spreader over here is honestly just being held on by a screw and so that's definitely an option as well and i'll even take you over to show you he even keeps the ladder off the floor just by holding it up those are just two screws holding the lip of the ladder up since it is a fiberglass ladder and it's not super heavy so there you go another tip for you guys Tip that's actually outside the shed, but it has been in the shed in, in times past, is using a bucket as a place to hold things. And this will eventually be a rain barrel one day when we get um, the lid from my dad. So, but for right now, it is being used to hold uh, pieces that used to be part of a fence around our chicken run. And the extra wood poles that I used to trellis are tomato plants in the summer. So right now those aren't being used, but they will be in about a month or so. So using any kind of a bucket, this is obviously a large bucket, but you can use a paint bucket as well to help you organize. So there you guys go. There's some five tips for keeping your shed organized and keeping things off the ground. Um, and it has been a lifesaver for us.